In the hills of Vietnam's Kong Bin province lies one of the world's largest cave systems. The Phong Na Kai Bang National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And the tour guide there, Niob An, is a 36-year-old man who used to be a logger and illegally chopped down valuable trees to sell as timber. And now he leads mostly foreign tourists through jungles and caves and is known as the protector of the forest. Niob An is uh, quite familiar with the jungle area and the trees that grow there. He used to work with others to carry logs, weighing as much as 100 kilograms out of a rapidly thinning forest. When they chopped down nearly all the valuable trees in Vietnam's forests, Niob An and other loggers crossed into Laos for cutting the trees there. And they then carried the chopped wood across to Vietnam. But as extreme weather events like heavy rainfall, which led to floods caused by climate change, devastated his community, Nyob An educated himself about the climate crisis and decided to protect Vietnam's forests. Unlike before, now I go into the forest, but with a new identity. An explorer of nature, the caves, and set new to our roots. Before, when I went into these forests, it was to get valuable wood. I used to take home anything of valuable that I could get from the forest. Now I only take home garbage that people left inside the forest and leave the big trees for conservation. Nyoban is one of 250 former loggers trained by an adventure tourism company. Oxel is tours. He leads mostly foreign tourists through the jungles and caves. Previously, whenever I saw a large and valuable piece of wood, my head would estimate how tall the tree is and how it could be cut into logs of various sizes. But now that I'm a part of the tourism business, when I see such a tree, I would just tell the tour group of how valuable this tree is. According to Global Forest Watch, Vietnam lost around 3 million hectares of tree cover between 2001 and 2020. That is a 20% fall in tree cover driven by the commodities market. A government crackdown on illegal logging since 2007 has slowed down the rate of deforestation. In 2020, Vietnam joined a global pledge to end deforestation by 2030. Normally tourism is bad for conservation, but it's the opposite here. Because we've employed all the people who are doing illegal activities, we find now there's a lot more animals in the jungle. They're more protected because of tourism. Now that's unusual, but it appears to be working really well in this area. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.